hello everyone in this video we will learn how to develop the clab and python code for the growth models so let's start suppose that you have a data for populations of new york the data is given as follows so you have a data from 1790 to 1990 now you wish to see what will happen in 2021 or in future so what you want to do you want to use the growth models to have an idea about the population growth so we will now see some growth models so as you know the simplest model for the growth of the population organism is the exponential growth so what is this exponential growth uh, if you see the rate of change of population is directly proportional to what the population at that instant so if you remove this proportionality sign you will get a simplest differential equation which is equal to this equation now here nt represents the population at time t and r is a growth rate this one is the growth rate and if you solve this differential equation it predicts that the population growth will be exponential which is equal to this and here n naught is the population at time t is equal to zero and if you see this it says that the population will grow infinitely or will grow forever so of course this is not true that the population will go forever so for that uh, next model the logistic model was developed according to the biologist they said that uh, we have limited resources so the per capita growth rate which is denoted as this decreases when n becomes sufficiently large but for small n the growth rate will mean same as the exponential rate but for the higher population the population will reach its carrying capacity this carrying capacity means the number of population and environment can hold and if the population growth is more than that then the growth rate becomes negative maybe due to competition and due to other factors because we have limited resources so the population compete with each other and they kill each other so the death rate becomes higher than the birth rate if we find a mathematical equation to incorporate all these ideas we come out with logistic equation so what is the mathematical representation of logistic equation we have this so this gives us the logistic equation here r is again the growth rate and this k is carrying capacity and this is called as logistic equation so this equation was first used by verhulst in 1838 we will now look to the matlab code so this one is the population data which i have shown in the first slide that this one is a data of new york and we started with 1790 and ended with 1990 so we wrote this data then we gave r that is a growth rate which is equal to 0.15 we will see how we can fit the model to the given data in our later stage but here we first know how to solve the ODEs with the help of the inbuilt function so uh, here I have given R is equal to 0 0.15 that is a growth rate the carrying capacity I have given as 50,000 and you can see that we have the data for uh, 21 years so I have started T from 0 to 20 and I have taken a step size as 1 and then this is H is taking the function that is our differential equation as we know that for the exponential growth rate we have dn by dt is equal to r into n so here x1 denotes that this is the population I have made H as a function and it is equal to r into the population this is x1 and then we need to call this od45 this is an inbuilt function in matlab that is used to solve the differential equations we have mentioned the function over here it takes the value like this it takes the function then we have to give the time range time range is from 0 to 20 and then it takes the initial condition so this one is 
initial condition so if you put all these in od5 it will solve this differential equation which is given over here and then it will produce an output this will solve exponential model and here again i have given uh, h new function this is a function for the logistic growth as you know that we have already seen that dn by dt is rn 1 minus n by k so the same thing i have put over here r i have kept the same and this is just for the giving a different name to population so you can use any variable and then again we call this od 45 uh, so here uh, the input arguments will be h the time t will be again taken from here and this one is the initial condition so we will plot this one is plot for the first this one is for exponential and this one is for logistic now uh, what we can do we can hold on means that it will keep the figure and then on the same figure it will plot the data also so here what i have done i have plotted the data also over here this is plotting population see population is a variable over here that is taking the data from the table so here uh, i have given x label as time population and this is a legend and now if you want to see the percentage error between the population and what we have generated from the model you can take the error as this so we can run this code to see how good our model is actually depicting the data so let's run this code in matlab i will just copy and paste in matlab and then show you so now i have copy pasted the code over here and then i will just uh, press this run button to run this code now you can see that here this blue line denotes for the exponential this one the circle one is for the logistic and this one is denoting the data so you can see that uh, our model is uh, well fitting with the data now what we are interested in we are interested in seeing what will be the population of new york in 2021 with the assumption that our carrying capacity is 50,000 obviously this is not realistic but just to give an idea about how your curve will look I want to show you the figure so just uh, see this is the code uh, in which I have given the time as 231 because our starting time was 1790 and if you count you will get that after 231 years we have uh, 2021 so i have just uh, put uh, uh, the value of time for uh, 0 to 231 and again i have used the same code for seeing what will happen so this is the logistic equation which is written over here the same initial condition and now if we run this code we will see that i am getting this figure so you can easily see that the population is converging to the carrying capacity this is the carrying capacity you can see the value at 231 is 50,000 so you can assume that for the longer time the population is going to settle down at the carrying capacity so these are the two figures I have just shown you uh, which have been created by the MATLAB now we will see the code which is written in python the starting will be from here we need to import the matplot library which is uh, helpful for plotting the figures and then we need to import numpy numpy is mainly a fundamental package that is used for scientific computing and it provides multi-dimensional array object and various derived object it facilitates advanced mathematical and other type of operators on the large number of data so we will import this and then we have to take this sub package use this sub package which, which contains this od integration which will allow you to solve the ods uh, ods means ordinary differential equation so here again we will start with time this is a time variable which is equal to uh, np dot is taking the array this is making the time as array so np dot lin space lin space means this is from 0 
to going to 20 and I have divided 0 to 20 into 20 points. So this is going to variable tm then again as the before as in MATLAB code I have set a to 0 0.15 k to 50,000 and this is our first model. So I have defined the model in variable y and t. So this is the first model which is showing you the exponential model and then we will return this this is a variable and we will return so it will call the function and do all the calculations where the calculations will be done this uh, this is an inbuilt package in python so you can see that it will take model as an input this is the initial value and this is the time it will solve your given differential equation and it will store this in variable y underscore od in this is a variable you can give your own name now this is a second model which is defined this is for the logistic one this is logistic model so again uh, what i am doing it uh, i am solving this logistic equation with the help of od in and this is again taking the model from here this is our model and this is the initial condition this is the time so you can plot by using this that you want to plot time against the model 1 and time against model 2 so let us copy paste this code in python and see i have written the code in google collab so this is a product from google research and it allows anyone to write and execute arbitrary python code through the browser so i have used this collaboratory from google to write my python code so you can see that i have copy pasted the code which i have shown in my slide and after that we can run it over here by clicking on this icon and below you can see that i am getting the graph this box one is for my exponential and this red one is for logistic so you can see that how you can code easily either in matlab or in python so those who are more comfortable in python and want to solve or they want to do mathematical modeling and see the future scenario or they have some kind of data and they want to model it mathematically they can easily use this code and they can obviously change the differential equations from here and they will get their desired results so this was all for this video thank you